Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video with me. Today I've come back with a new video and what I'm going to show you is how I incorporate glitter and sequins and crystals and those kind of things into my resin paintings. So I bought these really cheap glitter, you really don't have to go expensive here. These are £1 each and I just got them from a shop in the UK called The Works but you can buy these from any kind of homeware stores or art stores or craft stores they're really easy to find i'm not sure what i'm going to use yet but let's go ahead and prime the canvas so i'm going to get straight into it and prime the canvas i'm going to pop down a white primer so i'm going to use liquitex gesso i really love this one i've used it so much in my videos i'm just going to go ahead and pour some of that onto the canvas like so. So I'm just going to use this scraper thing and I'm just going to move that around the canvas. I just find this a quicker method than actually painting it but whatever you guys find easier then just do that. So when you're swiping the excess paint off might as well keep it and just kind of pop it back in the gesso so that you can reuse some of it. There's no need to waste any of this. Okay, so I've finished doing that and I'm going to hair dry it or let it dry naturally, whatever. And then I'm going to do one more coat of the primer and then it's ready to go. Okay, so my canvas is all nicely primed. It looks great. And what I'm going to do is now sellotape the edges. When I say sellotape, I'm using this tape called Tuck Tape. And this is great when you're using resin because it's so sticky and so strong. The resin doesn't sort of go in between it down the sides because if you're using masking tape, things like that, it just doesn't come off at all. So I would definitely recommend using this. So when I put it around the edge of the canvas, I place it about five millimeters above the edge. So that's kind of sticking up a bit. And that just helps with the resin when pulling it off and also makes it look a lot nicer. Okay, so I pop tape along the edge and I want you to possibly see how I've left a tiny bit sticking up. So that should just help when taking the tape off when the resin's dried. I've put some gloves on for resin, obviously you need gloves. Also, please do wear a mask of some sort and have good ventilation because resin can be really harmful for your health. So just keep safe when using resin. But I'm going to use these cups just to prop my painting up. So first of all, I'm going to mix a small cup of resin. So I use art resin. I really find that this Resin is really good, works for me, I really like it. I'll put the links to everything I use today in the description below. So I've poured 30 grams of hardener in that cup and then I'm gonna do 30 grams of resin. Okay, and then what you need to do is just a mix, mix, mix. And I'm gonna mix this for about five minutes. Okay, I've mixed the resin for five minutes, so it should be good to go. Grab the resin and just using my stick, just pop it around the edge of that design. It doesn't matter if it goes over slightly, it's just a kind of rough thing. And as well, you don't need loads because this is just to kind of stick it down. Grab a one of these and pop some glitter on there and I'm going to use that where I want it in the resin. So some people incorporate the glitter into the resin. I just find this method slightly easier but again it's up to you how you pop it in. And it will start to like sink into the resin so don't worry about that. Um, I tend to do one or two coats of the glitter just to really make it pop out and Okay, once you've done that one, I want to next go into using some sequins. So I've got some sequins here that kind of look like this. I'm going to start to also place those 
kind of around the side. I'm going to use this white glitter that I have. So I'm also going to pop some of these white one sequins along this section here. Just a few sort of in it. Okay, so now I'm going to work on this section here and I'm going to do the same thing with the resin. And don't worry about the glitter that goes off the side because if it's not got anything sticky to latch onto, you can just blow it and it will come off. Do a little bit more around this side because I want um, some pink. So next I think I'm going to do a line sort of coming from here all the way up here. So just make sure that every little bit is covered, even if it's layered on it doesn't matter because we will go over it with resin. So I'm just going to carry on like this so you get the picture. Uh, and then I'll show you roughly what I do at the end. Okay, so I've roughly finished the kind of sequin glitter bit that I want to do. I do want to add some extra bits after, but for now with the sequins, this is fine. So I've just mixed up a new tiny small batch of resin, and this is just to use to slightly go over the top of the sequins, and that's just because otherwise some of them might not be stuck down properly with the resin that's already on there, just because I've layered it up quite a bit. Now the trick is to not swipe this across because it will move all the sequins. So I just kind of go in a little like that over the top of them. And it generally doesn't matter um, what it looks like right now because like I said, we're going to be doing a coat over the top later on. This is just to kind of make sure that they're all roughly stuck down. So I'm going to go over all of them. I like to do too thick of a coat just because when we do the flood coat later we want to level it all off so we don't want it to be too thick and I'll just quickly pop the torch over that just briefly don't want to burn anything right that is done for now what I'm going to do is let that dry and then we will do the next stage Hi guys, so I've let it dry and this it's all dry, stuck on, I've checked nothing is falling off, no glitter is coming off, things like that. Um, and now what I'm going to do is just cover up, I've done a few sections here that are kind of a bit messy but it's fine, it, will, um, it won't show when I put resin on it overall. Um, I'm just going to clear up some of the sections that maybe glitter got on that I didn't want to get on um, and just repaint over that. Okay, so now I'm done with kind of tidying up certain bits of it. What I'm going to do is I want to kind of create this marble effect. So I'm going to use white paint and just kind of do really small lines through it. Um, and I'm going to do that with silver as well, but I'm just going to start with some white. So just grab a kind of smaller paintbrush and I'm just going to pick points where I just want to paint a really thin line and I'll go over it a few times. So I've also just been adding some silver lines too and this, I'm just actually using some spray paint for this one. This is some craft enamel. So I'm just using that again, like the like I did with white. I'm just going to continue to do that for a little bit longer. I'm basically just going to mix up a whole load of resin and pour it over the top. Make sure it's fairly thick so it's covering the whole thing and it's completely smooth. If you want to see how I put resin on my pieces, just check out the link on the screen now. 
but I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you the end result. Okay guys, so I resined my piece last night so it's all flat and shiny and I also painted the sides white and um, that's just because when you take the tape off the side it can be a bit sticky so I just paint it white just to get that kind of stickiness off but I'm going to show you close up so you can see what it looks like. So it's got a good resin shine on it. And it actually looks really nice when it's dark as well, because all the glitter kind of shines. So it's really nice. I'm going to show you it on the wall as well. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the wall. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all soon with a new tutorial. Bye guys.